I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. You want to talk. A dual horn? Yes, but not your run of the mill breed. We best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two. Bring it. Don't. Yeah. Down. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing. 
Seems like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Would well, explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. <gasps> Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the crown... City... I think I'd better score my own wheels. Yeah, I am not into wildlife. More of a pet. Hey. Stop bitching, start killing. Hey, yeah. hey now! Warp strike to catch him off guard! Hey. Hey. Not enough! One out! <laughs> Onward. Yep. No way we're taking that thing on. This one's no joke. Focus. Feeling all right? That Watch yourself, Knox. I know.
What do you say we pull over for a minute? Yeah, my throat's bone dry. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have. And I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, 
as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. Welcome to Golden Key. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Uh, yeah, right. Uh -huh. <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. My tummy's rumbling. It smells good. Absolutely breathtaking. According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis, bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. The sound of tacit agreement. Here. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Hey, buddy. Meow. What's up? Taking a little stroll? Meow. How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Um.
Huh? Great job, Noct. All right, here you go. You're one spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a heart. Might keep on clinging. Forever. I wish Ignis would get off my back. He'd ease up if you could just get up in the morning. Ah, a cure for sleeping in. All right, crack of dawn tomorrow. We train at the beach. If you think it'll help. Oh, <laughs> no doubt about it. You'll feel like a new man. <laughs> 